Wow, <laughs> almost uh, a thousand days ago. Sounds like a thousand years ago. <laughs> almost a thousand days ago, um, I've been told that uh, I can have it all. And uh, I believe it. I wake up in the morning and um, I run to, to the window to see where I am today. I can't even remember. <laughs> I'm always in a different place, in a different country, because my book takes me places. <laughs> Today is not just a um, time of celebration for me. Uh, in my heart, it's always first day of spring, first time for everything, new experiences, new places, new people, time for a fresh green start. You know, it's when I look back at yesterday, uh, which was a few hours ago, because the time zone is just out of control now. <laughs> All I can think is, what, what can I do? What is that I'm not doing yet? What can I do to be more, to better myself, to give more, to help you, to help you see north, like my mentors did for me. I, I, I turn my, my life around and I want to inspire you. I want you to turn your impossible, which is just a fantasy, trust me, into impossible, which is the only reality I know. God, long ago in a different time and in a different place, um, life for me is, is divided into two, the life before the book and um, life after book. So long ago I learned that um, I'm all alone uh, on my own and um, when I retire against my will, I had nothing, nothing to show. I've been empty handed after uh, decades of hard work and was was a dreadful experience i don't want you to have that experience i don't want you to reach that low point in your life when um you realize that actually you always wanted to make a difference a big difference you know like bigger than life helping other people to be more to to be what they want to deserve to be and like most baby boomer i end up with a beautiful place to call it home um, my beautiful children who are now uh, very busy living their own grown-ups lives and they're not better than mine uh, that I used to be and uh, that kills me you know uh, I had a what you call a comfortable life and I couldn't take it anymore you know the question of my life the one million dollar question that hit me was what's next what's next Having money in the bank gives you some, it's called certainty, but trust me, it takes a lot more to feel the freedom of doing what you love, what you want, what you are meant to do, your calling, your passion to deliver that big difference you are meant to do. You, you, you are born for a reason. Um, who needs lots of possession to be happy anyway? What you need is time away to study, to reinvent yourself, to travel and spend time with friends and make new friends, to discover extraordinary places, extraordinary people, people you never met, including yourself. I know finding your own path is a tall order, but um, unless you find your path, your passion, and is the one you can call it home, you'll never feel at home, you'll never be home. I I need to tell you this, you have to start a project, a project that doesn't require your constant presence in, in a physical um, location, um, something that will take you places, uh, something that will teach you uh, while you are learning, you know, is never better way of learning um, and discovering um, what life is uh, unless you, you teach. Sometimes I learn hard lessons like everybody else from people who are like sandpaper. And I realize that um, I become smooth and clear. So yay, <laughs> thank you. And I learn from great people and uh, I grow 10 times fold when these extraordinary people, these, these, these teachers and, and people who understand wealth, who understand life, and you know what they are born here, and they are delivering their mission, and their geniuses touches my heart. I'm so grateful for both the, the, the hard people and the beautiful people, for the lessons 
and the privilege I, I, of, of, I have of creating my own life because um, looking, um, seeking your, your, your life is not about seeking who um, for, for somebody, it's about creating who you're supposed to be. And in your lifetime, you must have met so many types of people that perhaps you can't even remember them all. But as far as I know, there are only two types. There are growing people and self-content people. I'm not here to ask you to listen to me. I'm here to ask permission to listen to you. I want to, to talk to you about what you want, what you know. Um, where do you go? What's next for you? This is so, so exciting. And um, this conversation, I promise, it will give you access to the too good to be true kind of opportunities, opportunities you never thought existed for you. And if you are the growing type, and if you want more from life, if you want to be more, if you want to drop your to-do list and start fresh your to-be list, because after all, you are a human being, you are not a human doing. Who knows, your desire to grow could inspire others, start a new trend, or simply change your own course of life. And be where you're supposed to be. Each day, um, each day is a blank canvas, and there are colors out there next to the canvas, and you you have the choice. You choose the colors, your own colors, and you could have it all. Life is a journey to an unknown destination. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that you could start your own today. You could have it all. It's just a choice. Get in touch, find me to find yourself, to create yourself. Marina at marinanani.com. Thank you.